answer feedback in a Google form. This is video nine of a series of videos to help teachers incorporate and implement Google Forms into the classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I am a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan. And the Google Form I'm gonna use for this example is a fine print activity. Uh, fine print activities can be used in either Google Docs or Google Forms. And um, I chose this particular activity because there are both multiple choice questions and short answer questions in this activity. And one of the options that you have with using Google Forms in the classroom is that you can provide some answer feedback so that when students get the, um, their grade passed back to them and they have the Google Form returned to them, they can see what their score is and then get some feedback from the teacher if you want to incorporate it. So when you go into one of the multiple choice um, questions, um, you can click on that particular question and notice that I am in the editing window of this Google form. And then when I click on the answer key, this is where I can choose the amount of points, choose the correct answer, which some of this Google overview and tutorial was explained in more detail in previous um, videos. But then there's also the button here to add answer feedback. So once you click on that, with the multiple choice questions, you can have feedback for both incorrect answers and correct answers. So for example, if a student got just the answer correct, you could add feedback of, do you know, like, way to go. I mean, you can add whatever you want. You could add a specific resource or feedback if they got it correct. And then you can also do it if they got it incorrect. So for example, you could en enter some feedback here if they got the answer wrong. But one of the awesome things about adding the feedback is you could add a link and or a YouTube video into um, this uh, feedback that the student gets. So I could say something like um, they got the incorrect answer and you could say um, for more information on how to correctly or no, how to um, read your bank statement, check um, out this video. And then I can take like this particular YouTube video on some smart tips on checking your bank statement and I could add it right here as feedback. So I can go into the URL, I can paste that and then um, select it and then students will see that as their feedback to that question and then I'll have to save it right here. So depending on how they answer it, if it's correct, they might just get, you know, this, I just put way to go as a quick kind of feedback. And then if they get it incorrect, it can then scaffold or give them some more information about that particular question. With the multiple choice questions, again, when you enter the feedback, you can do for correct or incorrect. On the short answer questions, which I'm gonna skim down to a short answer question here about the importance of reading your bank account and the answer in a short answer format, again, click on the question, and then if you go to the answer key, which you click there, you can add answer feedback, but for these longer response questions, there is no incorrect or correct like pathway. Because these questions don't grade on their own, you can enter any feedback that you want to. So I might put in like, um, here are seven reasons to um, thoroughly check your bank statement each month. Um, and then I could add an article that I kind of previously found. This one's more about balancing your checkbook, but I just kind of pulled up something quickly, but I'm just showing you that you can add a link here. You could add some text if you want to, and then I save that, and that would be feedback for all answers that they give. So I see both of those in there. Let me make sure I saved that correctly. It doesn't look here. Link to this, text to display. I'm sorry, I forgot to click this add button. So you click add, it will add the article in there, and then I save it. So then I can see that would be the feedback that students would see. So let me give you a quick kind of example on how this would look if I were to send it to a student. So I'm gonna go into my settings, and I'm just gonna change a couple things very quickly just to, um, just to be able to show you how this worked out. And then um, I'm gonna, they see everything, and then I'm gonna save that. The settings on Google Forms is all thoroughly explained in a previous video. I just wanted to quickly change the settings so I can show you what it looks like from the student perspective. So I'm gonna grab this link to my Google Form and then I'm gonna open an incognito browser here and show you what it would look like if I were the student completing this. So as the student, I'm gonna put in my name 
I'm going to choose my hour here, click next, and then here's my information that I can go through. And then I'm just gonna quickly kind of answer these by just choosing the top answer on every one, just so I can show you that when I do submit this as a student, I set the um, the the settings so that way I would get an answer like my response and my grade right away. I'm just typing in random and then I submit it. And because I set the setting to automatically release my score, I can click as a student view score and I'm going to only get two points because I did it so quickly and nothing on the one because I, I, I didn't grade it as a teacher. But I'm showing you that here's what the answer feedback looks like. That there you go, I got this wrong. The correct answer was monthly for more information and there it is. There's like a, for them to review it. So as a student, or excuse me, as a teacher, you could make the feedback process part of the assignment. You know, like in some way of having them review some of the resources and information that you pass to them. And if they would have gotten it correct, they would have seen something different. Again, if I scroll all the way to the bottom here, this was marked incorrect because um, it's a short answer question. So the teacher would have to go in and, and grade that. But then there's my feedback. So I have that article there where students can review and look at that information. One of the key things that I did, and I'm going to close out of this um, incognito browser, but one of the key things that I just did is I set this to immediately release my score. And my suggestion in using Google Forms is not to do that, um, but in assessments or some of these assignments to click here and then students would be able to view their score and their feedback and all their information later once you once you release the score. But that's one of those settings that I just quickly changed. So um, providing some feedback in the Google form is a great way to extend students' learning um, and also have some follow-up information about how they answered some of the questions.